Hey guys, Jillia here. Welcome to the Shopify tutorial. In this video, we are going to design the website. I'm going to break down some of the main features for you, and then we'll go ahead and start designing the store. Before we start, if you still haven't signed up for Shopify, I'll leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for the first three months. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. From your Shopify dashboard, go to online store and let's choose a theme. Scroll all the way down and click on visit theme store. Here you can browse through all of Shopify's ready-made templates for you to design your store. And as you will notice, Shopify offers both free and paid themes. So if you only want to view the free ones, make sure to tick free here in the filter settings and you'll see all of the free ones available. If you'd like to preview one of these themes, you can click on view demo store and get a feeling for what your online store could look like. If you want to try a paid theme, you can add it to your library, customize on it for a bit and you'll only have to pay for it once you click to publish. So that gives you a possibility to try a few different paid themes without actually having to purchase it until you're sure that it's the one you want to go with. For this tutorial, we are going to be using one of Shopify's free themes, which will work out perfectly for anyone starting out. You can also change your theme later if you want to. So once you've chosen the right theme for your vision, click on add theme and it will be added to your library. Now by default, your store will be set to this theme. So if you have added a new one, make sure to click on publish first so that it becomes your primary theme. Once you have it, we are going to right click on customize to open the theme editor on a new tab. This is Shopify's built-in web designing tool and it's very intuitive and easy to use. When you first open the theme editor, you'll see a sidebar on the left-hand side of the screen. You'll also see one on the right side and your website preview here on this main area. So everything we're going to edit will be done on the sidebars and you'll be able to preview those changes in this whole area as we go. Now, just a heads up, if you're inside Shopify and you're only seeing one sidebar here on the left side, that's totally fine. It's just because you have a smaller computer screen. All the settings will be the same. Just know that everything we are editing will be on the left side for you. You can also customize your mobile view by clicking up here. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on desktop. Mobile is usually very well adapted automatically as all the themes are mobile responsive. So you can go over this in the end and see if you want to make any small changes. So let's have a closer look at the sidebar. Here, you will find all the sections of your website with a drag and drop function. No matter which page you are in, whether it's the home page, a product page, or whatever page, the sidebar will always start with the header section and ends with the footer section. And in between that is where you're going to add all the page content. There's also a feature right up here named Inspector. So whenever this is turned on, the main preview will scroll automatically wherever you hover your mouse on the sidebar. You can turn it on and off by clicking on it. I'm going to leave it off during this tutorial. What you'll also notice is that some sections come with different blocks within it. So here in the banner section, for example, you'll see a title block and a button block. Now to make edits in your contents, you can just click the blocks and you'll see the settings here on the sidebar. So you can very easily add the information you wish to show. To delete a section or block, you can click right here. To add a new section, we are gonna go down here and click on add section. Now you'll see all the different options of what you can add to your page. To make edits in your content, you can click on these blocks and the settings will open up on the other side. If you have the inspector turned on, you can also click the sections directly on this main area and the settings will open up in the sidebar as well. So this is the main theme editor area where we'll be spending most of the time customizing. Now to edit some of the more general settings of the store like fonts, animations, colors, and so on, we're gonna go over here and click on theme settings. The first option is logo, which brings us to the first step of this online store design. If you haven't created a logo yet, I recommend using Kittle. This is my favorite design tool, and they have tons of logo templates you could use. They even have an AI logo generator. I'll leave a free version of Kittle linked below with a discount code you can use if you want to go for a paid subscription. And to help you in this process, you'll also find a link to a free resource I've prepared for you, which is going to be really helpful in the branding part. It covers everything you'll need to know to create a successful brand from scratch. So you'll find it linked for free in the description. Once your logo is ready, make sure to export it with a transparent background. 
You can also export it normally as a PNG and then use this free tool links below to remove the background. Once that's ready, let's upload it to the store. So click on logo and select image. And here you can adjust the size of the logo. I'll leave mine just a little bit bigger. Now let's close the logo settings. If you want to change the colors of your store, you can do that right here. And to change the fonts, you can go to typography. So let's go back to the sections. And the next thing we're going to do is add an image banner. I definitely recommend you spend some extra time gathering the best looking images you can find for this, as a visual appeal is one of the most important things when it comes to selling. You can also use Kittle to find high quality stock images, or even to design a custom banner. They do also have an AI image generator, so you could come up with whatever is in your imagination. Kittle is linked down below. So click on image banner and select image to upload your file. On Dawn, you can also add a second image to the banner so the whole thing would split in two and show two different photos. To add a second image, you can click here. Now to help the text stand out better, you can adjust the opacity setting to make the image a little bit darker. To change the size of your banner, you can choose one of these options. All right, now let's fill in some content. Click on this block. And here, you are going to add your store title. Now, as you can see, we also have a button block in the banner. So let's click on it. And here you can customize your button text and where it links to. I recommend you leave this text to something general like shop all or shop now and leave it linked to all products. Now down here, you may already see a section by default. I'm actually going to delete this so that you can better understand how this works from scratch. And by the way, if you're looking to create a one product Shopify store, I recommend you go and watch this other video instead. It's going to be linked in the description. The first thing we're going to do is add a section named featured collection. So click on add section and on Featured Collection. Now up here, you're going to select the collection you want to show. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the title to create a better aesthetic. And down here, you can choose how many products you want to show. You can also choose in how many columns they will appear. I'll leave mine like this. If you want to, you can also delete this view all button by going over here and unticking this box. Or you can also change the button style here in the section. If you have many products in this collection and you wish to show all of them, you could activate this carousel feature, which allows users to scroll horizontally. And make sure to also enable this feature right here show second image on hover. This is going to create a really nice visual effect every time your products are hovered. Next up, click on add section. Now we'll add a collection list. This will help your customers browse through your site and open other collection pages to view more products. First, I'm going to remove the title once again. And down here, I'm going to change the background color to create some contrast. If you want more color options, you can click on edit and change your color schemes. I'm also going to disable the view all button as I want the viewer to focus on one of these options. Now let's go ahead and add our collections. Here on the sidebar, you'll see the collection blocks. So click on the first block and select your collection. Now click on the next block and repeats the process. All right, now let's click on add section once again. And now let's show some more products. Click on featured collection and let's customize it again. This time I'm going to add a title. Select my collection and change the layout.
All right, looking good. So let's go for the next section. Now we're gonna add a featured product. So up here, select one of your best looking products. I'm also going to change the background color to create a slight contrast. And then go over here to change the image size. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and add another section. This time showing a collection list. This will create some nice visual variation. So you can now repeat the previous process to customize the section. Okay, the homepage is looking pretty good and it's almost ready. We're going to finish it off with an FAQ for the customers. This will help you create more trust in your online store. Though for us to create that section in a way that looks aesthetically pleasing, we'll first need to create some contrast. Otherwise, it's just gonna look too repetitive. So let's click on add section and on banner image. Now choose a nice photo. Uncheck this, this, and this, and adjust the image size. You might also want to lower the opacity to make it a little bit darker. And if you want to, you can also add some movement animations down here. All right, this looks like a nice visual transition. Now let's finish off the homepage with an FAQ. Click on Add Section and on Collapsible Content. Let's name it Frequently Asked Questions. Click on the first block and enter the first question. Now click down here and enter a smart answer. Here you can also choose an icon that fits the question topic. That will create a pretty nice look. Now click on the next block and repeat the process for the next questions. And by the way, this is just an example on how to create different sections. There are infinite ways on how to set up your store layout, and the best one for you will depend on what you are selling. As an example, you could use this multi-column to communicate the benefits of your brand, or even give instructions on how to use a product. So take your time to test different layouts and see what works best for your brand. Just know that aesthetics will play an important role in sales, and a professional looking store is one of the foundations of your success. You'll also wanna make sure there is a fair amount of contrast between each section, so you definitely don't want things looking too repetitive. You can achieve contrast by giving some variation in the background colors of each section, and by adding different kinds of sections throughout the homepage. Contrast is one of the foundations of proper design, and it will help you keep your homepage interesting. By the way, I do have a video on all of the principles of design if you're looking to dive deeper into this. I'll leave it linked down below. And here's an interesting analogy to help you make the best out of your homepage. You can think of your homepage as a hallway, taking visitors to all of the different possible doors they could enter in your store. So make sure that multiple pages of your website can be accessed through the homepage. And if you need some extra inspiration, I recommend going back to the theme store and having a deeper look at some of these demos. They are very well designed and can be a useful reference. Now let's click on save. And let's view the product pages. Click up here and select product. Now click on default template. And here you'll see the product page. As you can see, we have something basic by default. If we make any changes to this template, it's going to apply to all of the other product pages as well. So to get the best out of your store and optimize your store for sales, I highly recommend creating custom product pages that are optimized for conversions. You'll need to add custom sections highlighting the benefits of each product and ideally also customer reviews. You might also want to add product bundle offers. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial to help you improve your products pages, so make sure to check that video down in the description. Next up, we are still missing the navigation menus. So let's hit save and go back to the Shopify dashboard. Click on navigation 
and click on main menu. Now click on add menu item and link to one of our main collections. Now repeat the process and link to all of your other collections. If you have too many of them, you can drag and drop to create sub menu items. You can also drag it a level further to create another subcategory. Now hit save and go back. Here you can also create your footer menu. This is where you want to add important things like your privacy policy, refund policies, etc. We'll be coming back to this in a bit. All right, now if you go back to your theme editor and click on header, here you can select your main menu. And if you scroll all the way down, here in the footer section is where you will later add the footer menu. To preview how your store looks on a normal screen, go up here and click on full screen. Looks like everything is ready. Save when you're done. And that's all everyone. Congratulations for making it this far. If you're looking for more help while building your Shopify store, in the description below, I'll leave a link to my course, Sell Like a Pro, Optimize Shopify. It's a course I've designed to help you turn your online store into a highly professional success. I'm exposing all sorts of beginner mistakes, fixing common errors, and guiding you through multiple strategies to make your store irresistible and boost your sales. We go over your product pages, content, images, offers, your store structure, call to actions, and Shopify settings, all in a very easy to follow chapters and a dedicated comment section for each episode. You get to ask questions inside. We have an exclusive community platform you can post on. So if you need some extra guidance with Shopify, I'll leave the course linked below the video. I hope this was helpful to you. If so, make sure to hit that like button. It'll be super, super appreciated. And if by any chance you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you'll also find a link taking you to the best current deal for getting started. Right now it's a three-day free trial and then $1 for the first month. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.